So I'm Brandy, and who wants smoothies? Me! Perfect. Because I have a smoothie recipe that's super easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we have all our ingredients on the table. The first thing is a banana. So who'd like to cut this banana me, for me? me? You. Oh, man. He beat you to it, I think. OK, I'm going to give you half a banana. OK, we're only going to use a half. So I want you to cut that into little slices. Can you do that for me? Excellent. So the next thing we're going to need are some berries. Now we have some fresh berries. Now we could take these fresh berries, chop them up, put them in a little bag and put them in the freezer and then you just pull the bag out and dump it into the blender. But we're gonna start with fresh berries. So we're gonna need about a cup and a half of berries. So let's give you two, a couple of these giant California strawberries. How about we give you that one? I think that'll be good. And I'm gonna start filling this up with, we've got blackberries and blueberries and raspberries. And it really, you can just chop them into like that, it's perfect. Yeah, so about as big as this blackberry. So we want them to be all about the same size. So when we blend them all up, it's gonna go really fast and they're gonna break down at about the same speed. Does that make sense? That's perfect. All right, so why don't you grab those and put those right into the blender for me. Perfect. And so the banana is gonna give it some nice sweetness and a good thickness for our smoothie. You're doing an excellent job. Excellent, all right, we wanna put your berries in there. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna add some blueberries. Blueberries are gonna make them nice and purple. So this is about, you know, this is a very precise recipe. No, it's not. So it's about a cup and a half of berries and then we've got a half of a banana, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put spinach. Jake, is that your favorite one? Spinach, is that your favorite vegetable? Okay, yeah, perfect. All right, I'm gonna put about a handful in here. Now this looks weird, right? But you're not gonna taste it, I promise you. I promise you. Kale, you could also do kale. You could chop up kale and do the same thing. So whatever greens you kind of have laying around, perfect. Then the next thing we're going to add is about three ounces of plain yogurt. And this is how I measure it, about like that right in the blender, super easy. The next thing we're going to add is um, about a half a cup of fruit juice. So this is, this is all pretty thick stuff. So we want it to be a little bit thinner so that we can actually drink it. And this is how I measure that. I'm gonna put it in until it looks about right. Now you can also use milk, um, any non-dairy milk or regular dairy milk in place of the juice. It's really entirely up to you. So. Where's our lid? I'm gonna put this on, and you're in charge of the blender, so show us how it's done. I'm gonna turn this on, and we're gonna blend it, yep, for just a few seconds. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, perfect. Now you see we've got little pieces here, so we probably need to blend it for just a few more seconds more, so turn it on for me. Perfect. Okay. Super, so hand me one of those glasses. That's how easy it is. Could you do that tomorrow morning? Yeah. yeah. Right? Super easy. You could make this for your family in bed or whatever. And we have a rogue banana, but we'll just ignore it. I'm gonna pour this into a mason jar. And that's that. All right, who's gonna be my taste tester? Anyone? Jake, you wanna try it? Okay, check it out. Let us know how it is. What do you think? Yum. Good? Yeah. I love it. Okay. Excellent. 